Hey, hey, hey! No. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do for this intro thing. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey! <laughs> Here goes my wheezing laugh. What is up, everybody? Um, if you're back from my forever and a million years long first video, you're awesome and I'm so sorry. Uh, when I uploaded that video, I had every intention of uploading the video that was edited even shorter. Um, no, edited that was shorter, the one that I uploaded was not it. It was the full hour one that I'd only like made some editing to. And the other one did not upload. So the joys of editing and uploading videos and things not going as planned. So um, it was a long one and I rambled and I bad blabbled my mouth for an hour. 2,000 years later. So sorry about that. But this time we're not going to babble like that. Um, so I have already started, um, my eyebrows and primed my eyes to cut out some time learning that that's the way to go. Um, but today I have so much excitement and I have been dying to open this and review this and put it on my face because it is everywhere and I am just so ecstatic. So today's for review, if you already saw the title, is the beautiful Tati Beauty. Is she not just stunning? Like, I want my photo on a, inside of a cardboard box, like, but I would have to look as good as her. Anyways, so in this package I ordered, I finally got my hands on the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 Eyeshadow Palette. This thing takes my breath away. It is so beautiful. And literally the palette, if you didn't have any other palette, I feel like this would be the one to have because it literally has everything in it, in my opinion, as far as like your everyday shades for a kit, for any hot, any type of occasion, you can make a look with this, absolutely. Um, love the packaging, of course, very just soft and, <laughs> Um, just awesome with the packaging very sturdy like this is a very nice sturdy very good quality palette and Maui my baby boys Maui come here baby come on let's just go ahead and pause the video so I can introduce you to my baby come here come on sweet boy can you see the paw reaching up come on you know you want to and there he is this is my little boy, well, little big boy, Maui. And he is inspired, of course, from Moana. And he did have a little sister named Moana, who is no longer with us. Um, very sad. But he is a beautiful boy. He is gorgeous, if you can't tell. If you are a cat lover on this channel, you will see my cats appear. I bring their appearances often. I have two little rug regrets somewhere in the rest of the house that are kittens, toddlers, um, and they get into everything. And I've never had such like rambunctious kittens before, but they're a blast and they keep me laughing and having fun. But so Maui is our special guest today and he is going to be probably chilling on my barefoot dreams blanket like uh, all the kitty cats love. Behaby. Can we just take a moment of silence? Wowza. So Tati made this palette with the understanding that you have each row for every type of texture and formula that you could want. So we have our matte row, we have our sequin row, we have our metallic row, and we have our glitter row. And these are just absolutely stunning and I have been dying to play with this and I wanted to wait to do this video um, and the mirror on this is exceptional like exceptional perfect this by all means I already know I'm gonna love it and I don't feel like I'll have anything negative to say whatsoever I mean come on Tati is freaking a genius 
Um, then the next item that I have that I've been dying to also pull out is the brand new Blendiful that she just came out with. Um, it has one Blendiful and one Baby Blendiful. And in case you are, this is the first you've heard of it. So this is her new sponge um, applicator to put on pretty much everything for complexion. So she puts on her primer, her foundation, her bronzer, um, her powders, all of those things with this guy. So I haven't even opened this yet and I can't wait to try this. So this is what we're reviewing today. And if you would like to see how I get my look with this, then keep watching. Really keep me up, 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 all night. So I'm gonna open this and the sound is just, I love the sound, <laughs> weirdo. Okay, so first thing I pull out is the Baby Blendiful. And first to touch, it's super soft. It's like those materials that those little washcloths that came out with to remove makeup, the makeup erasers. Very soft. It's like a little, a little pillow. Um, and obviously this is for your fingers. Tati uses this one for touch-ups, she says more specifically, or to get up under the eye with powders. Um, so I'll definitely be using that today. And then for the big baby is the big Tati um, Blendiful. So this is super flexible, super, you can do the wave with it. Um, and you put your fingers here. She uses this so many ways. Like I'm gonna be testing out today, she calls this the taco and does a bunch of things. And so yeah, so this is gonna be so fun and I can't wait. So first I am going to do the eyes. How's that? Cool. Maui, you left. You left your spot. I had a spot perfect for you right there. And you left me. Okay, so, deciding what kind of look I want to do. I don't know. Because this is beautiful. Um, I guess we're going to... I want to do like a... Like my last look, of course, I did nude, but of course I want to stick with the browns and like, but I want to do more of a like sultry, more smoky look this time. That's what we're doing. Okay, so first, like I said, I've already primed my eyes. I primed my eyes this time with the P. Louise base in the shade um, Rumor number two. I love this stuff. Very nice. And then I set my eyes with a setting powder. I'll show you what powder I used in a little bit. Go in with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill in the JH33 brush. And first I'm going to go in to soothe the matte shade at the very end right here as my all over transition color. Yes, sir. What is it? I'll let you out in a little bit. Okay, okay, you won. Since he was being so demanding, I had to let him out. Jeez, interrupting me, man. Don't you know I'm doing this thing? Okay, I'm gonna okay, go back. I went ahead and did the other eye off camera. So next, I'm going to go in with, I'm gonna go in with the shade Ritual, right here, the matte shade once again. And I'm going to pick up this Ipsy Precise Blending Brush, and it's a T35. I have these Ipsy brushes again, but they're good. So I'm going to pack that in, in the socket, but kind of like in a V shape. 
flicking it up and over and blending that out. Okay, now I am going to go in with, I believe, first I'm gonna go in with this Aurora shade, this matte shade right here, and then I'm gonna go over top with the Aurora shade, the, sh the sequin part of it. So how are we feeling now that it is finally February? I mean, January was just the longest year ever, right? <laughs> Yes, I said year. I know I said year. Don't come for me like you came for Jaclyn Hill. She was joking. I can't believe people are so mean. But like, I seriously was like, is January ever going to end? It had me like going crazy. <laughs> like, it was honestly a super tough month. And I was expecting it not to be. But it was. And I don't know, I feel like it was like that for a lot of people that I've heard just like over the time, like saying January was rough, January was, man, 2020 has already been a year and it's been a month and it's just unfortunate, but trying to stay positive. This month is a month of love, even though every month should be the month of love, but it's just, you know, I feel like with girls with Valentine's Day, they're, you're either really salty about it or you're really happy about it. Or you're just kind of like, I don't really care. But obviously I've been that girl that's been salty about it when I've been single or, you know, in a weird, in a weird stage in my life. Um, but like, it doesn't have to be about a significant other, like just showing any and everyone that you love them. Like Valentine's Day is a real thing, girls. Like it's fun. And I really want to host a Valentine's Day party at some point and just have fun with my girls and just catch up and have some laughs and some drinks, some cocktails, some snacks. So that Aurora shade blended out very, very nice. It is so, so creamy and just did everything. I love it. Now I am going to go, like I said, and I'm going to pat that Aurora shade of the sequin part of it on the center of the lid. Oh boy, this shade is beautiful, you guys. Oh my God. Okay. It's not picking up how freaking pretty it is on camera. Or at least I can't tell if it is. But it's just the softest shimmer. But like these sequins in here are literal, like literal perfection. And I'm packing that on. Mm, so good. Buying this palette was a best, a very good decision. I want to say it was $58, $60 or so. I mean, when you see everything you have in here, like, I get eyeshadow palettes. If they are, if you love it, like, it will last you for a really long time. That's total worth the money. And, like, like I said, if you are a kind of girl that wears these kind of colors all the time, then you will get perfect use out of this. Ignore my lashes. It's time for a fill. So if they are looking sparse and you noticed it, <laughs> uh, sorry, but it's part of life. I'm not going to do anything to them because it just ruins them. I really want to try these pressed glitters and they're just gorgeous. So I really think 
I'm just gonna go in with Aurora, like the glitter right here. So I'm gonna use my finger. Yep, she's a pigment, she's a glitter. I'm going to take a little bit off actually. And I'm gonna just press all over where I put that one shade. Uh, I think this is the one that Tati said is her favorite over top because it just is gorgeous. Oh yeah, I think this is the one. And when you look at it at first glance, like it has blue and gold, maybe like shades of maybe little tiny purple, but on the lid over top and like picking up the light reflect, it does not look like that. So... Definitely experimenting around with these over top of shades is going to be so much fun to create all these looks. Yeah, definitely, definitely use your eyeshadow first before you do any of your face. Unless you're going to bake heavily and you'll know you'll be able to wipe it away. But wow, very pretty. Like super impressed super impressed Tati girl you did the butt I want to try something different that I don't normally do and that is I'm going to use a liquid brown liner on top and I'm going another one to smoke it out so I'm going in with this new Arcelli liquid liner in the shade coffee cafe again i got this in my ipsy bag so we're giving her a try i'm gonna start in the center and stamp on my water line not water line lash line okay i went ahead and finished eyeliner off camera it's been a very long time since i've done a wing liner um so it came out pretty well I'm going to go in with my Morphe M165 brush and I'm going to take the brown shade again, Ritual. And I use the brown liner, so I am going to go back over this liner with the brown shadow. This um, It Cosmetics Velvet Luxe Brush Effortless Crease 320. And I'm gonna go and buff that wing a little bit. Now, time for the Blendy Fall. I'm so excited to use this. So, she uses this with her primers. So, that is exactly what we're gonna do. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I love this stuff. I'm just going to swipe it in the tip of that. And I'm going to go in and mush it and smack it into my pores. All around this nose area. Feels nice on the face. It's very soft. Just bouncing motions for this part. Oh, before I go any further. Let's get rid of that magical fairy glitter garden. Under my knee. <laughs> Under my eye. Meh. Dreams that 
you you want that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so. Today I'm gonna try this, and I don't remember if I tried this yet, but we're gonna test this out on my channel here today. I'm gonna test out and mix the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation and the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. So we will see how this turns out, and. The shade in NARS is Stromboli, like before my other video, and then the shade I'm using for Anastasia is 335W. So I'm going to use my Blendy Full. I'm so excited to do this. And I'm going to take a pump and a half, I just did, of that color. I'm going to take two pumps of the Stromboli. And so the way Tati does it is she literally takes it and distributes it and wipes, which feels so wrong on the face. And then she goes in and pats it in the skin. Beep, 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 beat in the face. Smack, smack, smack it, smack it, it is. There's some good ass grabbing going on there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in with more, one pump of each. So, this, the whole purpose is for a flawless, smooth application, but you also don't have to use as much product, which is amazing because your beauty blender soaks up so much product. I just cleaned my beauty blenders and had literally a bowl full of soup foundation that was came out of those beauty blenders and it's just like, wow, it really soaks up so much product. Wow, I'm looking very luminous. These under eyes. I've noticed more and more they're getting purpley and blue and I'm not here for it. But I'm learning a trick though that I picked up. So peach obviously cancels out the purple and redness. So I've heard all the rage about the NARS Natural Radiant Concealer um, and Natural Creamy Concealer. I've had it before, but specifically in the shade Honey because this color has peach undertones in it. So what I'm gonna do and start it off doing this now is I'm gonna color correct this color first and cancel out this this purpley red that I have going on here. And it's not picking up on camera as much as peach, well, kind of is, peach it is, but it is really, really pretty. And then I will use a lighter shade to go back and brighten the under eye more. I don't know why I never really have done that much, like color correct first under my eyes and then use a concealer, like, but I never thought about color correcting with a different kind of concealer and then going in. It's just, when you learn stuff, you're like, oh my God, why didn't I think of that? And it's like, because that's why you take advice from other artists and you, look for advice and you take what they have and try it because you're not going to think of everything and they're going to know stuff that you don't know and all of that so i love specifically learned that trick from harush but she uses it after her concealer sometimes too but she's also a different complexion than me so it may work for her more as a highlight than it does for me you know Okay, so that blended out really nicely. Obviously you can't see any more of that red and purple. So now for to actually brighten, I'm going in with the KKW concealer in the shade one. I'm obsessed with these concealers. Um, I didn't use them on my last channel, obviously because I was testing out um, the other ones, but this is the one that I go to pretty much every time I do my makeup now. 
is just Gorga. Muy Gorga. As you can tell, this is <laughs> very light than what is compared to my foundation, but maybe we're going to make it work because I told you. You want to light the areas of your face where outside the light of the sun naturally would hit it. I totally failed. I was supposed to be using my Tati one. Why did I pick that up? <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I'll do the other eye. So we're gonna go on the other side and use the tip of this and blend out. I'm so sorry, guys. That just goes to show I got sidetracked and picked up a beauty blender because that's what I'm normally used to, but I'm trying. But I want to make this my new puppy. Now, do you see which side looks more prominent? This side. And I'm not done yet, but that just goes to show how much that beauty blender just picked up my concealer on the other eye. Loving this thing. So now we're going to use it for powder. This shall be bit interesting. Okay. I'm going to use my KKW, my bake powder in the shade 2. This is KKW. Use this in my last video. So for this one, I'm going to take the baby blendiful. And I'm going to dip her with the point. And I'm going to press that in. And lock in this concealer. How does everyone feel about the Super Bowl? People are being so ridiculous. When I say ridiculous, like... I feel like every year, somebody, something has to start a scandal or drama over the Super Bowl because it's such a big event and literally almost every American, every person in the whole entire world, um, everywhere, uh, is watching it. And I feel like everyone just wants to create an issue. Like, okay, when I was a little kid, uh, and Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake performed, a booby popped out. And did you see everyone freaking out? Yeah, you did, because there was a body part exposed, and whether it was, you know, an accident or it was on purpose, we will still probably never know, and who honestly cares? I mean, then a couple years ago, when the Ravens played in the Super Bowl, and Beyonce performed, apparently, allegedly, she was throwing up Illuminati signs. Everyone was freaking out about that. Last year, Adam Levine stripped down without a shirt, and nobody had anything to complain about because who doesn't, what woman is going to complain about that? So, I mean, it's ridiculous. And the fact that everyone's like freaking out that there was a stripper pole and that Shakira and J-Lo were raunchy and this, that, and the other, like, get a grip, people. If you really are that worried about your kids watching it, you're the parent, you're the adult, escort them to the other room like who says they have to sit there and watch that if you're not comfortable with them watching that but odds are if you want to shelter your child that much like I don't know like I get it I wouldn't necessarily want my five six year old watching that but if they're in like older where they know what's going on and it's just dancing like it's no different than watching you know hip-hop dancers on tv and you know who says dancing with the stars and all of that stuff doesn't have kind of like me like dancing like that eventually like people just need to get over themselves and just need to like JLo and Shakira rocked rocked that performance like absolutely rocked it and I said it and I'll say it again if I were 50 and how I looked like JLo and I could be on the stripper pole and I could be beautiful and a, and a great mother and a great singer and a great artist and a great actor and all of the things that she is I'd be doing the same thing and it's all about hate like it's all about people hating because they just are looking for something to hate about and I hate that people do that but more power to them women power body empowerment 
all of the things because they rock that. Let's play that again. So, anyways, I went in over the KKW and I put my Jeffree Star, um, the Magic Powder. Is that what it's called? Magic Star Powder in the shade Fair. Love this stuff. It's really, really nice. Um, and I'm going to let that set. Meanwhile, I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury All Over Setting Powder. And I'm going to take the Beauty Blender. Blendif blendiful. Blendiful. And I'm going to pack this into the skin and see how this performs with the powder. Ooh. Did you guys see that? Like... How much better like this it's this and the powder now and we're gonna use the Anastasia bronzer in the shade tawny it's another great bronzer that I've come across it's a little dark but since I'm rocking this darker look right now I can pull it off so I'm gonna take it like a taco hey it is Tuesday taco Tuesday and I'm going to literally take this and put it all in the divots or the fold Whew, here goes nothing never applied my bronzer probably like this before ever mm. not bad so far Obviously, I go in with some more. I was going in lightly because, like I said, this color is dark, but I think it'll work. Now, I don't think I could just use this. I feel like I still am wanting to, like, grab for a brush to, like, blend this out. But as far as applying it and getting it placed where you necessarily want it, like, it kind of, like, gives you that line, like, of where you should be contouring and it helps you sculpt. So that's pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna go here. As long as the jawline, get rid of that double chin. 2020, I want the double chin to be gone for real. Like, hmm, it's sculpted really nice. You see that? She is chiseled. Okay, I'm back and I went ahead and did a few things off camera just to wrap this up because this was mainly about the Tati eyeshadow palette and the Blendiful. You already saw how I did most of everything in the very first <laughs> long video. Um, so I went ahead and just did shadow on the waterline I actually went ahead and used the bronzer for that just because it's a really pretty underneath the eye mascara the exit uh eyeliner in the color uh exit <laughs> in the, in the <laughs> contoured my nose did some blush um and that was that so I'm gonna highlight now and I'm going to use my baby my Jaclyn Hill flash palette as you can tell she's still in the package because remember when I said in the first video what's my favorite thing to do keep packaging because it's beautiful okay and here she is I'm going to use, um, basically going to blend a few of these together. 
Um, but before I do so, this is something new I'm trying for the very first time. Jacqueline a long time ago in one of her videos said she started using Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil on her face, like even after everything was on. Now, throwing a primer onto my face that is an oil just solely is super scary to me. And uh, quite frankly, I don't think I would want to do that. So, but what she did do is she took the oil, very small amount, and placed it in the places where she wanted to look and appear more dewy. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna put it on in like my cheekbone area, maybe a little bit on my um, inner, like on the temples here. I don't know if I wanna do any on my nose, but, and then I'm gonna place the highlighter on top of that so it makes it like a wet highlight look. So we're gonna try that. So I'm gonna literally take this on the back of my hand. This is literally, I was like, I'm pretty sure I have some of that. Um, so yeah, I found my sample bottle that I got instead of going out and buying a whole thing of it in case I hate it. So I'm literally gonna take the tiniest amount, dab that in the beauty blender, even work some off a little bit off of my hand and I'm gonna go over where I'm gonna place that highlighter. This is scary because I immediately feel like it's just gonna separate my makeup and everything that I just did, but we'll see. That's why it's all about trial and error. See how I already look like wet? I'm gonna be dripping to the gods, honey. I am gonna put a little on my nose because it's dry anyway. That's right, remember I said it was dry anyway, so maybe that will help. Soak some of that up. Okay, oil is done. So now I'm gonna go in with the palette and I'm gonna take my highlighting brush and I'm gonna mix a little uh, Sparks Gleam and CEO. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. That's it, I'm not going. might be a favorite new hack of mine thanks to miss jacqueline hill wow and like i can't tell yet if it's gonna separate anything not my nose is already just jacked right now as it is so i don't know about the whole nose part of it but we'll see how that ends up turning out go in first to line my lips with the patrick ta the new um lip liners that he has and this is the color she's proud she's proud love it you know why because it clicks on the bottom god it's so freaking pretty and it's a really pretty nude color obviously you'll see my lips are looking super pink right now i'm not sure why that is I don't think that oil thing's gonna work. Mm, it's separating on my cheek. Not so much on this side. Well, yep, right there. Do you see that patchiness? Mm, I don't think that's gonna work for me. I don't know. Maybe I would need to do it before powder. But I swore she put it on before, like after everything was on, like powder, setting powder, all of it. Huh? She just goes to show. Just because it works for one person doesn't mean it's gonna work for you too. You gotta try it. Literally the Revlon um, Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in the color Forever. She can't read. Um, 
HD Forever Eternite. Et Eternite? Okay, I'm just gonna stop talking. Eternite. Forever Eternite. So, she said she was absolutely obsessed with this color. Mm. I've used this before in a different shade, and it smells like candy. So pretty. Hmm. I look at the look at. Okay, so we are finished, and the last step is you already know spritzing the face. Going in with the pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting spray again, and going to spray my face. Am I move on yet? Make a man out of you. Be a man. I cannot wait for the new Mulan to come out. That is literally like one of my all-time favorite Disney movies ever is Mulan. Anytime it comes on TV, I'm putting it on. I don't care. Um, this little extra device here is Patrick Ta. Who would have thought? Um, and it is literally exactly what you saw me being extra because that should have been my middle name um yeah so it came with a little holiday package uh gift set that he got over the came out with over the holiday but i believe you can purchase this by itself if you really want to go there um it has a little pt there um so cute um but yeah i came with a body oil that i absolutely adore so yeah this is the finished look and the full review of the Tati Beauty Blendiful and Textured Neutrals palette. Um, giving you my thoughts and opinions to finish and close here. Palette, 10 out of 10. Absolutely I recommend this palette to any and everyone. It was out of stock for a very long time and I was super sad. Um, but as soon as she said she was having a restock, she... I was on the website and I was like, I have to this time. Like, this is going to be perfect for me, perfect for my kit, perfect for just to have. Um, blended like a dream. The glitter, beautiful. Um, absolutely stunning. I love, love, love how it turned out. Um, and I can't wait to create way more looks with this. And I promise I won't do just smoky nude brown eyes. I'm going to go and dip into the oranges and the purples too. Um, absolutely. Like... She says she doesn't want to be that brand that just puts out something and then doesn't have it ever again and after it's sold out. So she plans to keep it in stock and that's her plan to have it available. So um, next, uh, definitely these guys, 10 out of 10. Like I will be using these in my routine now. My makeup went on so smooth. Um, again, the baby one, perfect for the powder, perfect to touch up. She says she keeps this in her purse with her powder and just touches up over the, you know, course of the day. Um, this one, I'm gonna go wash it and not ruin it. And so tips, she just made out a whole video, if you're interested in these, on how to take care of it. She uses it with bar soap, um, and uses it with bar soap in the sink no ringing do not wring this out with water um do not pull at the seams and try to test and see if it'll rip or not it's fabric people it's gonna rip like get a grip i don't know why people have to act like a beauty influencer's product has to be indestructible in order to get a 10 out of 10 like stop it um so i love this thing and it will definitely be in my daily routine for makeup now i would love to purchase a bunch of these honestly um and have them for clients but again have to wash them after every single person so it could be a little tedious but it may be worth it for that beautiful flawless application so um yeah I absolutely love this doing this video today have some more exciting things coming up um I also want to mention I got a haircut and I'm loving it actually um I went a little shorter than what I normally do but I wanted a very, I wanted a blunt cut, but as much length as I could have. So if you can tell, it looks really clean down at the bottom here, and that's what I wanted. 
Um, my hair, it just feels so much healthier and I can't stop putting my fingers through it. I just did a fresh blow wash, blow dry, straighten session. It was that time of time of the week to do it. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love it. I'm feeling, you know, refreshed with a new haircut, new makeup, a new month, month of love. And I have some exciting things coming up for this month of February to share with you guys. And I'll catch you with my next video. Bye guys.